talk radio, never been so high. That's why I keep the locks with guns, so after dark, I'm the crew out the box, came all the way from the block. Rock me to the top, shot a life from a lot, turn it with the Class that calamity, survivalist, politics, revolutionary family, overseas and abroad, militant with expression, right and all wrong, it's all about progression. I ain't so with MVP, I'm forced with the eye test, analyze the game, listen to God, yes. There's always a story behind the numbers. Pull up the charts, characters on the hundred. Air gas to a boat, and prince down south to the dry fix, so to the city. Be the voice to the people, and I have an interview. Social life and news, games and got the soup. Council at the dark, council, council at the dark. Council at the dark, council, council at the dark. Council at the dark, council, council at the dark. Council at the dark, council, council at the dark. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host, Tanita, who will be right back in a second. But what's good? What's good? It's, you know, thankful Thursdays. You go always call in and tell us why you're thankful. Just randomly call in. But tonight is season two, episode 39, 35 of the Airgasm Show. And tonight we're going to talk about what's your definition of cheating um, in relationship. Many people have um, different definitions or different understandings of what they consider to be cheating. So tonight we're going to go through a few scenarios, a few situations and figure out if, you know, you guys consider it cheating or not. Or if it's just a little BS or somebody just blowing it out of proportion. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But what's good? Today's Thursday. Started off the day, I'm going to start off the day by saying I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the fact that I had some issues with my tires early in the week. I was able to get my new tires in today because um, the one on the driver's side had a bubble that looked like the knot on Rockman's head. And, you know, I was a little worried that that shit was going to burst and send me into a speed out. Then, a spin out. Then, on the passenger side in the front, I had somehow mysteriously had a puncture in the sidewall you know that's not repairable so i ordered some tires online they came yesterday this morning i went to go put them on now for you you people that are experienced drivers and experienced car owners you know when you go to the used car sh tire shop get your tire replaced and balance it's ten dollars the, for the for the just to mount the tire it's another ten dollars just to balance it um, I go to this place today and, um, in a, in a area, get in the air, tell them that, you know, what I wanted to do. I wanted to replace two tires with the new tires and get it put on. So, you know, me thinking the regular tire shop business, I'm, you know, $10 to mount it, $10 to balance it, two tires, 40 bucks, no big deal. So I tell them do the work, you know what I'm saying? The work, sit there. First of all, took them damn near two hours to change two tires. That shit right there should have been assigned to me. So I'm sitting there patient or whatever. I call my job, let them know I was going to run late. Time goes by, whatever. They finally come through and say, you finished. Duke, I go to the register. Duke is like, $85. It's like, $85? For what? What do he do? It was like balance, uh, mounting and balancing. I'm glad you find it funny because I was pissed. Because I know damn sure it's $10. That's what I said, um, Ray. I said, and I ain't got no Maybach. I got a damn Hyundai. Hyundai and Maybach. But you know what's funny? You mentioned that, though, because a, a, a young white dude did pull up in a Maybach today to get some air in his tire. And we was both sitting there. Oh, let me tell you this. So the dude who was in there, right, the... Manager or whatever. So the the dude pulls up in the um Maybach. He looks like Triple G the boxer, right? So he pulls up, gets some air, whatever. So the the manager comes back in. He's like, that kid can't be no more than twenty four, and he's driving a Maybach. I wonder what he does. Oh my god! Right. So I'm sitting there. I'm listening, right? Because he's talking to the other guy, and I'm like, damn, hate is in his blood, right? So the um. The other dude says to him, well, you don't, you don't even know, you know, his situation. You don't know if it's his. You don't know if it's his parents. You don't know nothing. He was like, yeah, I should have asked him 
um, how much your dad paid for that. Dang. I was yeah. like, this dude is a hater. So wait, it gets better. He goes, um, what what did he do to deserve that? Better yet, what did I do to deserve this? Jesus Christ. So, <laughs> so now he's like, F my life? So I'm sitting there like, God damn, I'm fucking, I, they need this $85 because this, <laughs> this hate is, un- yeah, no, but it was, a, it's a brand, it's a chain tire shop, Mavis. Who took over for STS? So I don't. I I I was really baffled at how it came out to eighty five dollars. When I know if I go to Julio and them up in Elizabeth, it's gonna be ten dollars to change the tire, another ten just to um balance it. Twenty dollars per twi- tire, it's forty bucks. I could do math. I'm an accountant. I don't know how they came up with eighty five, but they already did it. It was done. I, there's no way I was telling them to put the tires back on. I would have been so. like, take these tires off. I'm out of here. This is a rip-off. Nah, so now it's like 10 o'clock. I'm already late. I'm pissed off because I had to pay this extra bread that I wasn't really counting on paying. So I was like, you know what? Let me just tell my job I'm not coming in because on top of me dealing with this and then dealing with the job shit, I was just like, today's not going to be a good day. Let me stay home because I'm a... Today be the day I get canned. Even though I should have went there, I probably would have got canned anyway. We'll see tomorrow, though. Tomorrow's still another day to get canned. <laughs> Facts, Ray. That was highway robbery. Literally, it was on the highway, too. But what's good, Peanut? How's your Thursday? Thursday seems extra long today. And you know when there's no sun out or anything, it just feels extra dreary, extra long. Like, that's how I felt today. But I heard the weekend is going to be great. So I I'm hope so. To that. I hope so because I got some outdoor activities Saturday. Saturday morning, Team Golden Child playing softball. We playing, um, I don't know who we playing, but we playing, I think, 9 o'clock in the morning. So we'll be out there. So I need a hot one because all this week has been raining like it's crazy. And it's not a good look for the boy. I don't do rain too well, especially since I crashed my Jeep. In the rain, I'll be having a phobia when I'm on the roads, like mad and nervous, like, oh my god, I'm going to crash again. <laughs> but what's good? You know the topic tonight? Season 2, episode 35. Tonight, we're talking about cheating and what do you consider cheating. Certain, sometimes people see things in a relationship, like you could have two, say, say for me and you an example, two individuals, we're in this relationship together or whatever. Mm-hmm. We might have different opinions on what we would consider cheating. So we're going to run through some scenarios and figure out from the callers and the listeners on Facebook Live and those that are on the line, you know, what they consider cheating. So I'm going to throw the first scenario at you, right? You had the job. You, you work in Corporate USA or whatever. And every day you go out with this dude for lunch. Mm-hmm. You know... Nothing crazy, just every, but every day is him. Would you consider that cheating? No. But you're spending quality time with the male. So you could spend quality t- time with a female. Yeah, but you chose a male instead of a female. You're going to lunch with somebody of the opposite sex. Would you consider that cheating? No, I did that. You did what? Went to lunch like practically every other day or every day with a male to lunch. Oh, really? Yes. Why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? What are you talking about? Why are you pulling that, um, pulling those little things out? Because I'm about to bang zoom you, Alice. Little things. You see these guns? Oh, my about God. About to bang zoom you. So, um, when did this happen? <laughs> and who did you go with? Because it's, it's our longtime friend. Oh, now it's our longtime friend. Yeah. It's, you know who it is. That's why you're I ain't know. If I, I, you better clear that up because you was about to... Bang Zoom. Oh, whatever. Meet the new one. So, all right. But that can be considered quality time spent with another male. You don't see how that... Yeah, and I feel like um, when you're in a relationship, you know what your partner expects from you. So, uh, <laughs> therefore, it Ray want to be... see me punch you in the face. <laughs> I'm glad you laughing, because if you ain't say it was who I was expected it to say, boy. Ray, you want to see me get punched in my face? Ray wants to see you get punched in the face. dead wrong for that one. Dead wrong. But as I was saying, mm-hmm. since I was really interrupted by Ray wanting me to get beat up, um, you know what your partner expects from you. 
So therefore, you should not um, necessarily. I don't mean to cut you off. Not necessarily when you're two different individuals. This is why we're at at this point in the conversation because when you're in a relationship, you're still individuals. So you might see things one way, and you and your partner might see things the other way. You can't just assume that you know their reaction if a conversation wasn't had. Right, and ninety nine percent of the time, most couples don't speak about like what they consider as cheating or not. Cause I know we never had that conversation before. Everything is cheating. If you if you have a phone call with another, say if you have, male friends, if you're texting a male friend, uh -huh. just general bullshit. Oh, did you see loving basketball? I mean, loving hip hop. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. While you're, I guess, in the bed with your man, is that considered cheating? No. What is wrong with you? I'm asking questions. I'm. It can't. I'm, uh, no, these, to me, that's because not these are issues cheat. that people be having and going through. It depends on the person that you with. Like, for for me, relationships. What up, Kitty? Are not built on logic relationships are built strictly on emotions so when you're dealing with emotions you can get <laughs> any bugging. type of um scenario there is because you're dealing with emotions not logic all right then so what should take precedent emotions or logic it doesn't take presence in a relationship. one has to be the determining factor because if you're like, this is how I feel, and I did this because this is how I feel, and it doesn't make sense logically, like, at some point, the rationalization has to come in like, this emotional shit doesn't make any sense. It's dumb. That's what relationships is about. Emotion. Ray it's said, not about Ray emotions. Said, Ray said, some women do that just to get free. <laughs> free men. <laughs> free men. All right, what Ray said. All right, say you go into the to the lunch with the the male coworker or whatever, and he's paying for your meals. That's not cheating. No, cause sometimes I pay for him. Sometimes I have him. It's called a friendship. Okay. Okay, I I got it. I got it. Um. All right, what about social media? Yeah, you social like in, media is different. Can I give you this in there? Real first. Go ahead. Your, your man follows a chick on Twitter. She follows her on Instagram and he has her on Facebook Live, Facebook or whatever. And when she posts pics, he's clicking like, he's clicking the love button and he's sending emojis with the heart face, the heart eyes. Is that considered cheating? Uh, it's considered he's a chicken head. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's considered. So go ahead and beat your game if you want. Alright, so that wouldn't bother you. No, that wouldn't bother me. Dang. I would not have jokes on him. I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, that's your boo? Da 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 da. Whatever. And you would be tight. Stop lying. Sometimes, you know, people get a lot of dates off of um clicking lights and loving. Absolutely. Stuff. Some people would be like, Oh, um, that person's feeling me. Like it was really good. Then it's in the DM. It goes down in the DM. It goes down in the DM. It goes look at look at Bear. <laughs> it goes down, it goes in, the down DM. in the DM. Facts. Alright, so what if alright, how about this? Now, here's another scenario. What if you're in a relationship with a man, right? And then when he gets into, say, an argument or a, a dispute with you, he goes to this to another female and Hashes it out just for her opinion and a female point of view. Would you consider that cheating? That's cheating. <laughs> now that's cheating. Why? If he, you talk he just, to no other woman. But why? What if he needs a, a female no, point of view to figure out if he's who, wrong or to get a better understanding of how the female is feeling at this particular moment? No, it's oh, that's like that's the setup. Let me tell her how I feel. You know, women love to hear how a man feels. Then they start getting right emotions. because that's emotions. Yeah, then they so start women are getting... into that bullshit. Right. Like me, no, and then... I don't want to hear it. I'm like, oh, you going through it with your man? Uh, who gives a fuck? And then they start getting emotional about him. Like, oh, he's having problems with his woman. He's such a good man. I'll take good care of him. Then they start liking you. Oh, he tells me everything. Oh, I love him. Fellas, pay attention to how the female mind works now in your head 
In my, in my scenario mind, that didn't even take effect. What I'm thinking is the guy is going to this female just for some advice, some help on how he should handle the situation and get a female's point of view of how she's feeling and how, you know, to approach the situation to make things right. And you see how she said? You know uh, what? <laughs> if you need help, call on Jesus. What? He's the one that can help you. What call if, on Jesus. What if you're not in tune with Jesus? What if you're an atheist? You can always be in tune with You're not an atheist. <laughs> it's not about me. These are scenarios. I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> Why are you getting tired and start pulling your hookah? I, this is a scenario. My hookah not pulling right tonight. I'm not pulling right tonight. Nope. All right, so hold on. All right, we had that 15 minute mark. We got to pay some bills. This portion of the show is brought to you by sportsforprofit.com. There's at least nine things you can do to turn your passion into profit. Check out sportsforprofit.com, and we'll be right back after these short commercial breaks. It's the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host. Tonight, And we'll be right back, y'all. We'll be back. Eric is saying that. Hold it. Shop Golden Child ENT for the latest Golden Child ENT merchandise, music, and much more. Just log on to www.goldenchildent.com and click on the Shop Golden Child ENT tab for your shopping options. In addition, visit us on eBay at Golden Child ENT for a variety of quality goods and name brand products at tremendous savings. That's www.goldenchildent.com or visit us on eBay. And remember, Golden Child ENT, we shine brighter. Are you a sports fan interested in ways that you can make money from your passion of sports? If so, you really need to check out sportsforprofit.com. Did you know there are at least nine things you can do right now to monetize your sports passion? To learn more, visit our website at www.sportsforprofit.com and turn your passion into profit. For the latest in entertainment, new music, videos, fashion, and <laughs> worldwide I wish, man. Log on to Shout w- out to Trini. W- Trini w- gave me this hat. Golden he knows I'm Child E-N-T a Hennessy connoisseur. Updated on I still ain't have that master blend yet. Get you up to date with the latest. Follow Golden Child hey, E-N-T on social media, you know, Facebook, Instagram, I'm Twitter, I'm and Google+. I'm Plus. Not, um, Golden I'm Child E-N-T. E-N-T. We shine brighter. And we are back and live on this Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-host. Tonight, uh... And this is Season 2, Episode 35. We're trying to find out what's your definition of cheating. Um, Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Gonzo After Dark Radio is on all social media platforms. You can find us on Twitter, Google+, Instagram, and tonight is favorite... Baseball. So please, guys, when you guys check out these social media um, markets, make sure you check us out. Make sure you guys check the um, click the like buttons, click the follow button, so you can stay in tune with what's going on with the station, the show, and and you know the host and things of that nature. But tonight we're trying to find out what's your definition of cheating. I'm throwing out some scenarios of which you know it could, could be either it could be considered cheating or not. And we're trying to get your thoughts and on and you know on the topic and what you feel is cheating, uh, outside of physically doing the act because you know that itself is you cheating. know cheating. Yeah, so we're trying to find out non-physical acts of whatever s- scenarios and situations that can be considered cheating. Would you consider them cheating or not? Cheaters. Right, Peanut. That's right. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, you can always call in live at 646-668-8649. We would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the subject. No, Bear, we, um, <laughs> I'm not actually sponsored by Hennessy, but you know, I'm kind of a Hennessy kind of source. So shout out to my dude, Trini, who hooked me up with the hat out of the blue. I ain't even asked him. He just surprised me like, yo, son, I saw this. I thought of you. Oh, that was so nice of him. That's that was so sweet. It was it was emotional. For you it was. Did you <laughs> give him a hug? I gave him a hug. No, I gave him a bro pound. Like, thanks, my ninja. What did Eric say earlier, E Banks? Eric said that women go No, this one. That was a great comment. He said, because we can't talk to them because they won't listen. Reason why we arguing in the first place. Yo, that 
that answer right there is 100% correct. So this would explain exactly why you would go to another female for her point of view and advice on how to handle the situation. You can't just go to like some random female. You got to go to somebody that you actually trust that will tell you when you're right and when you're wrong. Not somebody that's just going to amen sister girl you and tell you to leave that bitch. So um, did you go, do you, do you have that person that you talk to? Nope. <laughs> I'm about to slap you in your face Cause you nope. lying Who you talking to? I talked to my mama You a liar I know cause she, she was like What's the matter me. with you? I was like I'm good She was like oh Okay But now, right, what's some other scenarios That are non-physical That would might be suspect Borderline cheating or non-cheating So vice versa If a woman goes to a male And find out his perspective on you know what she should do in her relationship would you consider that cheating well, i personally consider it yeah. cheating um no be, no because well it depends on who the dude is it well, can't be some random him. yeah that that's not but gonna that's fly. a friend huh that's her friend you don't know him but that's her friend hmm that's her friend and i don't know him right there there's a problem why? You don't How do you have a male friend that your significant other doesn't know about? Why, why do you have to know everything? What type of relationship is this that you got secret relationships on the side? Sometimes you have friends that people don't know about. It's, I'm still meeting new people to this day. Yeah, well, I get around. Oh, you get it. Oh, <laughs> I'm like Tupac. Oh, I get around, so, you oh, know. This nigga here get around. And I'm... I'm Hood famous, so I'm like the mayor of Brooklyn. So what if she's hood famous? Um, I don't know. I've never been in that situation. You wouldn't like that, huh? I don't know. I got to be in the situation first to see. It depends, like I'm saying, because if, if it's a dude that's going to generally... That's it, right? Genuinely give her the right advice and not trying to holler... And be on some, oh, that nigga ain't shit. You just need to leave him. Selena said he tried to take your place. <laughs> Facts. That's what I'm saying. Like, No, but why wouldn't we do it vice versa to the female perspective that the, the female is not trying to take uh, the other female's place. But when we say it for a male, he's trying to take his place. Why? Why? Why does it have to be double standards? On this, because it is what it is. I mean, if you're going to be a denial act like there's not double standards and double standards are okay in certain situations, then you're in denial. There's double standards and that's just the way it is in life. You dig? I dig, uh, but I don't like it. I mean, it is what it is. Let's take a few callers and keep this thing moving. Um, for those guys that's new in the queue and um, don't know how this thing works, we answer callers by the last four digits of the number that you're calling from. So if you don't know the number that you're calling from, um, I don't know what to tell you. But we're going to take a call and keep this thing moving. Caller 9635, you're on live with the Airgasm Show. I know who it is, but what's your name? Where you calling from? Uh, Sunny Winters calling from Earth. <laughs> Sunny Winters, what's up, Earthling? What's good? Ain't nothing, man. Ain't nothing. Just two in there. That was a good answer a minute ago, too. To which um, one? Um, you don't, you don't talk to nobody and shit. Facts. You said that shit solid. That <laughs> Facts. Shit. And I'm and sticking shit. to man, it. Not, yeah, because that's a lie. Because he said bro. that too quick. And his lips started trembling. What you mean? I was ready. I'm, I'm attentive to the questions that are coming my way. So, of course, I was ready. But what's good? You came to touch I'm the topic? Sure. Don't yeah, kick this, don't kick this. I don't know. I don't have any scenarios. Um, that whole advice scenario, I don't know. I ain't really big on that. One way I would say that would be cool is if, um, like the other person was somebody that was that knows the person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like this is like K. Princey. I would ask Princey something because I know, you know what I'm saying, she wouldn't have nothing to hate on Kay. Like, you know what I'm saying? She would have Kay in her best interest. Right. You know I mean? So that would be a different story. But other than that, this whole girl don't know Kay or, you know what I'm saying, or don't know me for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you have to leave people out of shit. Right. So let me throw a scenario at you, Sonny. Um, your woman goes to lunch every day with a male co worker. Every day. Faithfully, 
Like when it's time to go to lunch, yo, let's go. You consider that cheating? Time spent with with the opposite sex or nah? It's just it's just lunch. It's not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> I guess it depends on what kind of job they got. What? I mean, exactly. let's you say. Know why? Because because my thing is, if you work on the twenty third floor, he work on the fifth. Y'all break your fucking neck every day to do this shit. <laughs> come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. I, you know, I remember you know. Me, me and Nick work right next to each other. They work like a block away from each other. They walk to the route together and they can eat a lunch every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that would be a scenario I could say, all right, cool. Like, I remember O.E. and K. work together and they would do lunch and stuff like that. They, they work in the same floor, the same building. Not every day, but breaking your neck, that's a little excessive. Right. What about social media? Um, your, your mate follows a dude. She follows him on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Every time he posts a picture, she's up there liking it, clicking like, and throwing heart emojis in the comment section. With the, you know, with you the, like the say heart emojis. The heart emojis with the eyes. Is that considered cheating or is that just playful, like playful little banter or whatever? Nah, well, I'm sure we had this conversation before on this, on your show. I look at everything like a crime. That shit is not a crime, like a conviction of murder, but that shit is definitely a misdemeanor. Like, <laughs> I feel you. It's not a murder, but it's more like a, a, a hop in the turnstile. Did we lose, Sonny? Sonny, are you there? Sonny? Sonny is gone. I think okay, we lost what, it for the moment. What about flirting? All right, give me a scenario, a situation or whatever. You're out. You're at a lounge. You're with your girlfriends. A guy comes up to you. He's talking wait, wait, to you. Wait, wait, comes up to me? Comes up to the female. Oh, you better clarify <laughs> that, boy. The guy, the guy comes up to you. He's talking to you. Da, 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 da. He wants to buy you a drink. Da, da, da. How you doing? Da, da, da. You're talking. You're laughing. And, you know. You're enjoying the company. Is that cheating? Or is that just flirting? Hmm. Are you making him feel comfortable enough that he thinks that you're single? Um, if he asks if you're single, you tell the truth. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question for the Facebook Live listeners. For the Facebook Live listeners... If you're in a relationship and you go out to a lounge or whatever and a guy comes up and he wants to buy you drinks and things of that Mochi. nature and you know he's kicking it flirting y'all flirting is that considered cheating? Hmm. Is that considered cheating? I don't consider it cheating because I do it a lot. Of course you wouldn't consider it cheating then. She about to get punched in her <laughs> face tonight, yo. Y'all gonna click the like when he's I meet friends everywhere I go. Oh friends, not a friends. They're not friends. I know they're not friends. But at two seconds or five minutes they're friends. <sighs> Chris Brown said it best. These hoes ain't These loyal. These hoes ain't loyal. These hoes ain't loyal for shit. Well that's the power of the vagina. Like if you had someone come up to you and talk to you and you know, you wouldn't, you will turn around and walk away? Yes, I'm in a committed relationship oh, and my wife is the best and she's, she's the only liar. one for me. You guys, flirting. Is flirting okay or flirting a no-no? Are, are you a flirter? Do you flirt with men? Yes. How do, how do you flirt with men? Give me an example of what you, what you consider your flirtatiousness. I smile, I laugh. You know, I entertain. When you laugh, do you do the <laughs> touchy? I don't be touching anybody. That's that's weird. I don't like people that have conversations and keep touching you. Like, don't touch me. That's pretty weird. I don't do that. Do you compliment other men? No, I don't do that either. Maybe. You like, oh, you have nice teeth. Oh, your suit is really nice. If he has nice teeth, yeah, I'll tell him he has nice teeth. Nice teeth is really good. So you're trying to holler? No. That sounds like you're trying to holler to me. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> holler at me. Don't throw a dollar at me. Yo, holler Muji, is me. that is that cheating, yo? She complimenting men, telling them they got nice teeth, nice suit, nice big shoes. 
Well, she said, yeah, man thing with the slick You got in your glasses, you can Oh, stick. the stick. Men think with the stick in between their legs. This thing right well, here, right? It's bigger. No, but that one it's is slower. slower. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, they think with the stick in between their legs, but that don't mean nothing to you because you already know, you know, it ain't nothing. So, therefore, it ain't nothing. Yeah, but you're basically leading the man on. No, I'm not. I never say, I want to date you. I never say, oh. But you, ha, ha, key, key. I never give out my number, <laughs> any of that. They walk away knowing, wow, she's in a committed relationship. She's a cool person. Cool person, my ass. Let me let me walk up and catch you telling a nigga, oh, you got a nice big shoes. I don't say nobody has <laughs> Your shoes are really big and really nice. I don't say that. Bang zoom you, Alice. I'm telling you, you're going to bang zoom. Sonny, if you back, press one if you was trying to um complete your thought. I don't know. Flirting, Flirting is, is not, not cheating. cheating. Thank you. So, is it, disres is, is it cheating or disrespectful if your man or your woman does it in front of you? Or, or will you just accept that as that's just part of their personality and their character? I think it's just a part of their personality if they're the type of person who will just start a conversation and talk. You know, you need to know because you're in that relationship with that person that, hey, this is just how she is. Mama Bug, stop texting me. You can press one if you want to get <laughs> your, um, your, your ideas and your Mama, comments. Mama in. Bug says it's disrespectful. Uh, this Selena is, says she's, she agrees. She agrees what? That is disrespectful no, or that I, is cheating? No, she agrees that it's not cheating. Hmm. This is all the women, too. So I right. So y'all y'all out there doing a lot of dirt. All the women know that, like, you got to have someone come up to you and start talking. Yeah, that means they taking now, a lot of free drinks. That's all even, that means. Even if they, if they come up to you and start talking, hey, how you doing? And you're like, whatever. Like when you get a girl like that, you know, I know you go I'm out. I'm going to kick him, but I don't I don't You do. You I say don't, you don't, don't say do hey, how you doing? No, I don't talk to any female. I just stick right, to myself. All right, he's just a straight lying. Stick to myself. <laughs> when a guy go out and he sees a female and he's like, "Hi, how you doing?" and the female is like, "I got a man." He's like, what? "Bitch, I just he, say hi. What's right? with you?" Who wants to like exactly? <laughs> Bitch, I just <laughs> say hi. Like, like you got a problem. Trying to you <laughs> plagiarism, yo. If somebody did that, they really just straight plagiarism. So right. To just assume that a nigga trying to holler because he said hi. Right. So you. I see you, Mama Box. Hold on. You you get the fact like okay, the guy's gonna either curse the female out for one, embarrass her, or just walk away like this stupid b i t c a. You like, just blew a free drink. You won't even nobody, know. Nobody. You don't have to be that way. I'm, I mean, like, if you're out and you socialize and someone comes up to you and talk, of course you can talk. But at the same time, if they ask you, oh, do you have a man? Yes, I do. Yeah, but in this day and age, are men really asking females if they have a man? Because men don't give a fuck if you got a man. So are men well, still in this day and age asking, are you in a relationship and trying to be respectful? Like, I don't... Yes. Really? Yes. Mm. For instance. Okay? Uh-huh. Um... I got a bang zoom situation coming. You and I were at comedy night, right? Mm hmm I think it was the first time we went there. And um, it was pretty crowded that night. You were sitting at the table. You know I always go and get your drinks or whatever. So I'm standing there, whatever, whatever. And the guy's like, oh, my God, she's not coming. Da, da, da. I'm talking to the guy. I'm like, yeah, she's not coming. Da, 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 whatever, whatever. So he's still talking to me, whatever, whatever. He compliments me. Thank you. He's like, are you here by yourself? No, I'm here with my husband. Convers we still was talking like normal, like normal everyday people. It wasn't a matter of, I'm here with my husband, don't say nothing to me. My husband would be crazy if I can't speak to people or anything. Or but there people. are crazy niggas out there that don't want their, their female interacting with males. Well, that's why I said flirting is not cheating, you know? I had a couple of laughs with him, I got my drink. I came over to you and I told you, oh, da 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 da. Exactly, Rory said. Rory said a dude looking for a hit and run don't care if you're in a relationship or not. Don't give a shit. Nobody care. Like I don't. I don't honestly think dudes are really asking women these days. Are you? Are you in a relationship? Are you I having a man? I just told you a scenario. 
know what was what? How long ago was how, that? How old is that dude? Is he in his fifties or forties? No, 40s? he wasn't in his fifties. He he actually looked like he was in his twenties. Mm. That's an ins- yeah. I mean, there are insecure dudes out there. So I mean, let's take caller. Keep this thing moving. Caller zero six four four. You're on live with the Airgasm Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? As if I don't know. You know my name, damn it. What's your name, Mama lady? Bugs. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's really, really good, Mama Bugs? Do you think flirting is considered cheating? Well, you know my ass is old. I flirt all the time now. You flirt or you fart? <laughs> no, I, I do both. But I, I, flirt, I flirt all the time now because my shit, my, I'm not, you know, I'm old. I don't give a shit. I tell people all the time, oh, you look good, or you, look, you know, look nice. And I do it all the time now. Oh, so you be trying to holler? Or it's just playful banter? No, I just, I just be playing around. Shit, I'm old. I ain't thinking about none of that bullshit now. But uh, what y'all was talking about, if I'm in a, when I was young and I was in a club, and a person approaching me while I'm with somebody, I think that's disrespectful. To, for, for what, just approach yeah. you? Like, because, I mean, yeah, other than... No, if, it's, a different gener- it's a different generation than, like, your generation. Like, when we was young and we was hanging out, I remember one time I was dating this guy, and I was sitting on his lap, and the guy just ordered me a drink and had to send over. While oh. you sitting on the dude's lap? Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah, I was with, I was with Reggie at the time, the one you couldn't stand. Shit, I was thirsty. I drank this shit. I didn't even think about it. But then, hello? Yeah, I'm listening. We listening. I didn't even think about it. Oh, I thought we got cut off. But um, I drank the drink, but he was like, why did you do that? I was like, shit, he sent it off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but that's I disrespectful. That cool. That's disrespectful to him. Yeah, that's disrespectful. disrespectful. No, and you but disrespect to him too. No, but he should have said something. You understand? He did. You, you just already said drink. It. You drank the drink. <laughs> you already said he said he something. Said oh wow. So I'm what? He didn't buy you he no drink. Me a drink. Oh, he didn't buy you anything. No, we was drinking all night. Cause you know when you're at a club, you're drinking all night. But shit, I used to really drink then, so I drank the shit. Hmm. I felt like. He was stupid for buying me a drink. You know I'm here with my man. I'm sitting on his lap. I mean, he can't get no more. Um, yeah, but I. You know, obvious than that. Facts, Rory. Yeah, but I think he was just trying to be cocky. I don't think he was. Um, I don't think it was a scenario wherein he was, you know, trying to pick you up or anything like that. He was like being cocky, like, "Oh, I'll send your woman a drink while you with her." He like, need that his was, ass beat. That was just straight disrespect. He need his ass beat for. Well, I think- I think that was very disrespectful, but I drank the drink. But you drank the drink! Huh? You drank the drink! You just as disrespectful yeah, as the dude who said it. Well, he didn't say nothing to me. You did! You, you said ju- he said something to you! <laughs> you said he you said something to you! Said- you said he said something to you! He just said, why did I drink the drink? I was so he said, said something then. See, these, huh? th- these thirsty women out here, that's why you can't buy a woman See, shit. Look. <laughs> anyway, it didn't matter because it's not like he did anything or got upset. I did shit it was done with. Was, you know, what can you do? It was done already, so what can you do? He could beat your ass. That's you know what he that? could do. That's what I would have done. He would have never, never did that shit because, you know, back then when we was dating, so oh, that's when he used to say, oh, it's quits or whatever. I would have said it's quits and he would have been crying, so. Crying? He said it's quits. <laughs> Are we talking about adults? Are we talking about high? What are we talking about? Junior high school? And she said, "Quits." It's quits. What are we talking about here? We used to say it's quits when we were young. We didn't want to be bothered with you no more. We used to say it's quits, and then the guy would be all upset, and they'd be crying and shit. That shit used to be so funny when I think about it. Because back then, I didn't give a fuck about nobody. Apparently, you didn't. If you taking drinks while you sitting on a nigga lap, you need your ass beat. Your mother was powerful, nigga. Oh, God. Please. Here we go. I didn't care about none of that shit. It didn't bother me. But now, I'm old. You know what I mean? So, if I see a nice look, it's funny. Because I see these young brothers, right? They be looking good. They be all pumped up. And most of them, I be like, damn, my mother look nice. And they be like, yeah, thanks, Ma. I be like, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I gotta remember I am mom, so 
That's funny. That shit is funny. All the guys at the job call me mom. So I'm, but I'm like, God damn, that nigga is dope. He looking good. Motherfucker so talking about, what's up, mom? I'm like, mom. <laughs> I'll tear your little ass up. Yeah, but I don't want to be considered an old ass pervert and shit, so now I just look at it and say, ah, oh, damn. Listen. I remember how it used to be. Men do it all the time. They get themselves a little young bunny and turn him out. Get yourself a little young guy and turn him out. Shit, that motherfucker will be following me everywhere. I ain't got no time for that shit now. Check <laughs> out. I, I hate that shit. <laughs> Following you everywhere, you only go from the job back to your apartment. So what's that? A block? He's gonna follow you? Man, shit! I won't be the rest. They be calling me every minute. I can't get no sleep. They be calling me to come outside, and I can't be bothering them. I'm too old for all that shit now. I hear you. I Don't hate be hating, man. I ain't shit. hating. I'm letting you live. I'm he letting you live. It. Yeah, why you said it when I said when I said sex is so amazing, he like, oh God, he like throwing up. I wanna see. I wanna see. When your ass reach sixty like my ass in a couple of months, I'm gonna see. She said in a couple of months. Way. She turned her sixty in a couple of months. Oh, I thought she said you could. No, no, no. She's turning sixty in a couple of months. But um Oh the big six the oh. big six oh yeah Woo. you you need to get you some young meat for your birthday. Yeah, you need to get um what's her name? Get your groove back. Stella. Stella. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna order you a um a you gotta get a stripper. We're gonna get you some pipe for your sixty. She got man, a wife. Man, I don't need all that bullshit, man. <laughs> all that <laughs> shit you was talking, it's that like pipe, you start shaking like nah. I don't need that. Man, I don't want all that bullshit, man. Y'all gotta remember I got a fucking heart problems. Y'all trying to kill my ass shit. Trying to cash out. Wait, you can handle it. You was talking all Wait, that shit a now minute ago. Your heart. Now, now your it's your heart. heart. Yeah. I see that commercial. I think it's say I was alone. They say, ask your doctor, is your heart strong enough for sex? <laughs> <laughs> I said, shit. I need to ask him that shit for real. He'll tell you so in a minute, say, no. Is my heart strong enough for sex? He's like, woman, please. Yeah, you better you close shop. But yo, Mama Bugs, we appreciate Thanks you calling, for calling in. in. Don't ever, Lady, don't ever sing you. Sex With Me is So Amazing Don't again. sing that song no more. You banned, you banned from that song. <laughs> it ain't never been the same for me. I took it out my playlist Every after you started Every time when I hear it, I think, oh. Yeah, don't play yourself. Don't play yourself, boy. That's how you got in. That's why your asses look like me. Sex With Me So Amazing. Oh, gosh. All right. Later, Mama Bucks. Later. All right. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that's on Facebook Live. Um, you want to call in and give your thoughts and opinion on what you would consider cheating. The number is 646-668-8649. And if you want to speak to the host, you got to press the number one so we can see the indicator that you're, um, you're trying to get through. So we're trying to figure out what's, um, what could be considered cheating. But it's that moment in the show. We got to pay some bills. Can you pay my when we, bills? After we pay these bills, we're going to come back and take a caller. But um, this portion of the show is brought to you by sportsforprofit.com there's at least nine things you can do to turn your passion into profit so check out sportsforprofit.com and we'll be right back y'all it's the airgasm show on gonzo after dark radio i'm your host bugsy kicking it with my lovely co-host tonight uh, and we'll be right back y'all we'll be back and from golden back. child ent for the latest golden child ent merchandise music and much more just log on to www.goldenchildent.com and click on the Shop Golden Child ENT tab for your shopping options. In addition, visit us on eBay at Golden Child ENT for a variety of quality goods and name brand products at tremendous savings. That's www.goldenchildent.com or visit us on eBay. And remember, Golden Child ENT, we shine brighter. Are you a sports fan interested in ways that you can make money from your passion of sports? If so, you really need to check out sportsforprofit.com. Did you know there are at least up, nine G? things you can do right now to monetize your sports passion? To learn Unknown more, G. visit our website at www.sportsforprofit.com and turn your passion into profit.
For the latest in entertainment, new music, videos, fashion, and worldwide news, log on to www.goldenchildent.com. Updated on a daily right basis up. to get you up to date with the latest. Follow Golden Child ENT on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Golden Child ENT. We, we shine, shine brighter. brighter. And we are back live on this Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show on Gonzo After Dark Radio. I'm your host, Bugsy, kicking it with my lovely co-hosts. tonight And tonight is Season 2, Episode 35. We're talking about what's your definition of cheating in a relationship. Cheating. In a other relationship. than physical cheating, other aspects of cheating, which can be considered emotional cheating, um... Time spent with somebody else of the opposite sex. What about if, like, you sleep in another bed, in the bed with a male or with the oh. opposite sex, but just sleeping, not sex? Y'all lay together. <laughs> well, why don't you ask this question to the caller that we got calling? So, callers in the queue for the first time that's um, calling in, don't know how this works. We answer the calls by the last four digits of the number that you're calling from. So, um, we're going to take a call and keep this thing moving. Call us 7023. You're on live with the Airgasm Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? My name is Moochie. Moochie Mooch. Mooch. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Hey, hey Booch, what's Mooch. good? What's good? Hey, what's up? So, so Pina has a question for you, Moochie. She wants to ask you this question and figure out if you would consider it cheating. Go ahead, Pina. Okay, engaging in a specific type of contact being that... You sleep with the opposite sex, but just laying in the bed together and sleeping together. Is that considered cheating or no? I don't consider that cheating because I have laid in the bed with the opposite sex or the same sex and nothing happened. And I don't consider that a cheater. If your partner was to do that, would you be tight? Sometimes it could be taken a different way by your partner. And they may take it disrespectfully, but I don't think it's disrespectful. If you're not touching a person, you're just laying in with the person. Y'all could just be friends. What about what about um? You don't think so? What about sending um pictures of your private parts? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, that's a little bit extra. <laughs> <laughs> that's extra. that right there, you need your ass beat. Oh, that's, that's that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful, especially if you're in a relationship. If you're not in a relationship, then shit, if you want to sit on the internet, then I mean, go by all, by all means, go ahead. Now, wait, before you, before we leave this topic, but I mean, this, this scenario, what if the person that's sending the pictures of their private part is actually a nude model? You sound crazy. What do you mean? I would love it. She what? said I would love it. No, but this is, this is what I'm saying. Now, if they're sending their private parts, would that be considered cheating because they would consider that a piece of art? Yeah, they are a piece of art. Hopefully, they're a beautiful piece of art. <laughs> 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 Hopefully, they shaved. Hopefully, they shaved. I yeah, hope right? so. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully they got perky boobs and not saggy boobs. <laughs> and hopefully they got a man bingo and not a little too short waist waist. <laughs> and hopefully you'll share and send me that picture as well. I got you, cousin. Thank hey. you. Hey. <laughs> 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 I like you, Dad. Well, Rory says you shouldn't be laying with the opposite sex if you're in a relationship. Now, I mean, that's his. You think, I mean, honestly, no, it's not true because if you is bisexual and you have friends that's female and you're in a relationship, then if you lay in the bed with your friends, is that considered that cheating? Or is that considered that flirting? That's the answer for you to answer. Question for you to answer. Okay, the question is, if you're bisexual and you're laying in the bed with a female... If you're then bisexual, then your ass don't need to lay in the bed with anybody because you could go both ways. It doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. No, but she's saying if it's your friend. <laughs> because... But we friends. 
friend shit. You laying in the bed with somebody, it turns into spooning. Spooning turns into, ooh, that feels good. Huh? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Sleep on the floor. Why y'all gotta sleep in the same bed? Nobody can make a pallet on the floor? No, we, we wanna keep warm. Oh, oh covers ain't good enough. Wait, and y'all hugging and stuff? Well, you know, sometimes when you sleep, you gotta Oh, exactly. What she said, exactly. you sleep, you gotta what? You gotta inch over. <laughs> That's funny. Hold on. Rory says, if you're bisexual, you should be in a bed by yourself. By, by yourself. <laughs> that is good. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to be in a bed by ourselves. Rory, Rory. Um, Rory. Rory. But y'all cuddling. Now, yeah, that that now what you describing is spooning. No, but are you actually cuddling? Listen, Moochie, I I listen, Moochie, I love you and I I want to ride with you, but we all know when that contact happens, it was like, oh, that feel a little good. Do it again. Doing the game turn into, oh, move a little closer. Next thing you know, everything is off. Y'all going at it. No, no, Billy. No, Billy. I got somebody to stand right here next to me. Two steps and booty back. See, you she know. And that's my best friend. And I ain't doing best friend. Go yet. That's my best friend. That's my... <laughs> I ain't doing yet. I ain't doing yet. <laughs> go best friend. Go best friend. Go. Get up another one. Go, best friend. Go, best friend. Go. Go, best friend. You got another one? It's the truth. Okay, what about purchasing intimate gifts and presents for uh, the opposite sex? I'm taking everything. Um, she said I'm taking everything. <laughs> <laughs> but is that disrespectful to your mate, though? I mean, is that what he consider that, or he or she consider that cheating? <laughs> So I, other than physical um physical cheating where a physical act happens, you don't think there's anything other than a physical act which can be considered cheating? I don't because sometimes certain people they don't want to be cheating. or how they interact with other people can come off to others as cheating, I mean, as flirting or being, like, sexual or something like that. And sometimes that's just that individual. Right, So right. you can have those passionate eyes and look at another female or male, and your partner may take it disrespectful. But if they know you the way they say they know you, then they won't take it disrespectful. They're like, oh, that's my babe. <laughs> they don't mean nothing by it. That's just them. Now, a person that's insecure and incompetent within they self, they're going to take that personal. Then yeah. they're going to want to argue with you. Oh, why was you looking at that person that way? Why did you say that to that person like that? Because they're insecure and incompetent. But I feel that's true. Rory raised the point. He said, if you're buying that's gifts... Moochie, check it. Roy has a point. He goes, if you're buying gifts for the next man or chick without your partner knowing, is cheating. It's cheating? I mean, think about it. I mean, you going out, you buying this person. How is that cheating? Because you can have a coworker at work that you know that likes certain things, but you don't know that person. Or they may not like you cheating because you buying your coworker what they like. Wait a minute, people do that? <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, what kind of conversations y'all having at work that where they, where they know what you like sexually? 
Where the hell y'all work at a strip club? On a personal level. It's like, hey, on a personal girl, level. To my toy party. Girl, you like stuff like that? Yeah. Girl, you know what they birthday come with? Oh, I'm Buy her, I'm gonna buy her a dildo. <laughs> That's my friend. I bought my friend a dildo. <laughs> but even still, you don't think um, you don't think your um. They talk about sex on a job. Who, Mama Bug said mm-hmm. that. That's what, and she be calling me acting like she's so busy and she talking about sex on the job. She said she talk about sex on the job too. <laughs> Mama Bugs talk about sex on I the love job too. Mama Bugs. <laughs> all right so check it um Mucci roy brought up another point he goes if you if, if you will not tell your partner you are being sneaky that means you're cheating this shouldn't I be tell my partner i don't need to keep it a secret oh okay a person that has to keep things a secret and don't communicate with their partner yes they have undermined it ideas of what they want to do with that person or they want they have things that they might plan on doing with that person with them toys but me personally i'm be like listen i'm buying this for them they like this is their birthday i'm buying my dildo strap on whatever you want to call it right and call it to that either you want either you okay with it you're not but you know me i'm gonna be up front 100 i got you that's how it should be Cause if you're doing it on the low, I feel like if if it's something that you gotta keep a secret from your mate, then you know it's wrong. So you should be guilty of that. I didn't right. see that one. Right. I you're gonna ask this question. You're just gonna point things. So what about just having like, say for instance, it's the somebody that you're attracted to, and you are, you guys are having like, uh, sexual talk. Like, um, what do you call that? Like foam sex and stuff like that. It's foam sex. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's cheating. But there's no contact. It ain't no contact, but you still you still coming. Oh. You as the female, y'all having foam sex. You still coming. He ain't physically touching, but he 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 talking sweet nothings to you. Time out. Time out. Just. Just for clarity, you you came over um, phone sex. You looking at each other like Moochie? I'm, I'm not saying I came. Oh, oh ah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she cleaned that up quick. <laughs> Cause I, 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 I ain't never come over phone but sex. The phone sex be going on. I be sitting there like, uh huh. No, but what you, you supposed, doing? Yeah, I no, got but my clothes on. Sex, you supposed to you supposed to work yourself and come. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So you please, uh, yeah, you please yourself, but he, he, he or she. He's getting you there. Please nothing to you to get to you there to get to arouse. Hey. So that's a form of cheating, especially when your significant other don't know nothing about it. Yeah, that's cheating. Now, if your significant other is filming it, no, I can't. <laughs> I, can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Like if your friend can get some, why can't I get some too? Word, shot. I was why about to say, if you come in over phone sex, that's some powerful phone sex. But yo, Moochie, we appreciate you calling in, my G. We got to wrap up. I love it. I right, appreciate time. you calling in. Love y'all. Thanks. Thanks for calling in. You are. Oh, cut out a little early. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our Thursday night edition of uh, the Airgasm Show on Guns at the Dark Radio. <laughs> We really appreciate everybody that um, tuned in and called in and gave their thoughts and opinions, especially on Facebook Live. We, we appreciate all the callers. Listen, you guys on Facebook Live, we really want to hear your voice. Y'all got to call Y'all in. Y'all got to call in, man. We're going to keep this thing moving. We want to speak to you guys and hear your thoughts and comments. Number is 646-668-8649. Um, that's the Thursday night edition of the Airgasm Show. Make sure you guys tune in Sunday to the Clapback Calamity hosted by Sunny Winters and L. Bugs. They come on at 7 p.m. Um, and we'll see you next Tuesday. The Airgasm Show. I'm your host, Bugsy. Can I'm your co-host? Tonight, uh, We are out of here. Love you guys. There's no us without you. <laughs> Ten seconds. I 
swear talk radio never been so high. That's why I keep the locks with guns so around the dog. Got the crew out the box, came all the way from the block. Rock me to the top, got a like him a lot. Sunny went to Delva. Clap that calamity. Survivalist, politics, revolutionary family. Overseas and abroad, militant with expression. Right and all wrong, it's all about progression. I ain't so with MVP, of course with the eyes that... Yo, thanks for all your thoughts in the comments, Rory. Really appreciate it. Shout out to G. I see you. Chate, I saw you. I seen you came in late, but I saw you. I appreciate you, my dude. Got so after dark, got so got so after dark. Got so after dark, got so got so after dark. Got so after dark, got so got so after dark. Got so after dark, got so got so after dark. Goodbye. Thank you for using blog.